Logging in Python. Let's learn about logging, log to files, display date and time, and learn to log functions, variable data, and exceptions. When a software runs, a lot of processes and events happen. A record of those is maintained in log files on your machine. You can then later refer to these to evaluate past events, like if the software crashes and you wish to investigate. Logging is the act of tracking events as they happen. We have the logging module for this. We can also use it to display a warning in the interpreter. We have this module ever since version 2.3 of Python and it serves two purposes. Diagnostic logging, logging events about the application's operations and audit logging, logging events for performing business analysis. Instead of displaying to the interpreter, we can also log to a file instead so we can refer to it later. Basic config helps with the configuration. We want to log to file log1.log and the level of logging is debugging. We'll talk about levels in a while. So this creates the file log1.log in your current working directory. Log a message with the debug severity, deliver information and log a warning. Open the file log1.log and you have this in it. We have five levels of severity when logging with Python. We pass one of these as argument to the basic config method. The level of severity describes an event's importance. The level debug precedes information on problem diagnostics. Info means the program is running as expected. All is good. Warning indicates there's been a problem. Error means the software is no longer in a functioning condition and critical means there has been a very serious error that may even be fatal and or lead to loss of data. Now to find out when something happened looking at the log file, you can add timestamps to events. Configure the timestamp format and set the logging level to debug. Call info with the string logging now and now it logs with the date and time of logging. If it's us providing the format of date and time, naturally, we can pick a different format. It now displays date in slashes and also mentions AM or PM. Let's learn about different functions related to logging. Info and debug give a detailed output of the events and these events occur during normal execution. So when there's a warning, the warn function logs a warning in the log file, but this is when the issue is avoidable. The warning function issues warning for a runtime event to log it even if it is such that the client cannot do anything about it. This message it logs has the severity warning. An error exception and critical log an error with the error severity. But not only text. We can also log the values of variables. We can interpolate strings. Here, we use the percentage operator to embed two strings in the message to log. And so it logs this using the values service and self. When an exception is raised, we can capture the stack trace and log it. Here, we divide by zero. Except handled it making a call to exception and that prints out the entire trace back. Logging will be helpful when you create your own applications with Python.